What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you a first look at the just released and just announced iTunes 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to notice about iTunes 10 is it's got a new icon. Gone is the CD in the background and got the music note with that little glowy blue circle. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what iTunes 10 looks like. All right, so here is iTunes 10 accessing the iTunes store. Let's go ahead and take a look at music first. This is where you're gonna get the new hybrid view. Uh, previously with older versions of iTunes, when you were looking at your music and you had a bunch of songs uh, in the same album, it would just list them all straight down with the album name. Now if you have five or more songs in the same album, you're going to get this album artwork. See, I got some ACDC right here. It doesn't take up any more space. You can choose whether or not you want to have it or how you want to view it. Uh, just sort of a nice new way to visually look at your music and scroll through albums. But that's not the big thing here. That's not the main attraction what people want to see. What people want to see lives off here to the left, and it is Ping. Uh, Apple's new social media music experiment, I guess. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a real quick first look. So here is Ping. It gives you a welcome to Ping screen. I went through and set up my profile. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see where it says profile, my reviews, people, and feature. Let's go ahead and take a look at profile. And here's, I just set this up very quickly. You can see what a profile looks like. So it's got my name. I put a picture uh, about me, recent activity. I don't have any yet. Uh, let me show you what it looks like when you set up a profile. We'll go off here to the right. And here's where you can put in your information. You can put in your name. You can put in your gender, photo, where you live, about you, uh, genres of music that you like. Uh, choose how you want music to be displayed in your profile, either automatically, manually, or don't display music at all. Uh, privacy settings. You can allow people to follow you, which really can be open to anyone. Uh, you can have people require the approval to follow you, so they can't just follow you blindly. You have to actually approve them, and they'll see all your information. Or don't allow people to follow you at all. Interestingly enough, we've got Facebook Connect here uh, as well. Let's go ahead and close this, take a look a little bit closer at Ping. So here's your profile, and go ahead and look for people or search for people if you'd like. Go ahead and let's say look at Featured. So here we got some featured artists. Go ahead and look at, let's say, Katy Perry. Go ahead and view the artist page and see these people are already ready to go. All the albums by Katy Perry you can see. On the right, you got what listeners also bought. This looks like another way to probably sell you music. Uh, Katy Perry music videos. Uh, and it looks to be the extent of it right here. You can go ahead and uh, follow her. Let's go ahead and see if we can get her profile. Uh, and here is uh, Katy Perry's profile. It's a little bit about her, a California girl, artist, all that business, recent activity. People are talking to Katy Perry. You can see what uh, she posted her music here. There's her single, talking already about it. Looks like her profile is pretty uh, active. You can see what an active profile is going to look like, very similar to Facebook. You can put pictures up there, uh, you can leave comments on people's wall and sort of talk to them uh, directly. And here's people that are following Katy Perry here off in the left. She's got 767 uh, followers. You can already see it right there. Pretty straightforward and pretty simple. This has been just a quick look at Ping. We'll take a closer look later. I'm curious to what you guys have to think about it. Whether or not you agree or disagree with Apple jumping into the social media field, uh, I'm sort of reserving my judgment so I have a chance to use it a little bit more. Anyway, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.